What's up guys, John here, and today we're going to talk about Skyforce for the PlayStation 4. Now, this is a game that I pre-ordered for the Vita almost a month ago. I still haven't gotten it yet, but I went to the Too Many Games convention in Oaks, Pennsylvania. Limited run games had a tent set up. I bought the game for the PlayStation 4 for $25. Awesome deal. So, let's get into it. And guys, remember, like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Trust me, it really helps my channel grow. I can't see shit. I can't see shit. Oh my god. Okay, so really what this game is is it's a it's a shmup or it's a shoot 'em up with very strong RPG elements. Um, you know, one game that I can kind of compare it to, I mean really the only game in my collection of games that I really could compare it to would probably be UN Squadron. Um, the way that you go through the levels and accumulate whatever points or currency that you accumulate. And uh, I believe that you, you buy items that way. It's been many years since I've played that game. But um, let's just start off with the bad stuff first, guys. I don't even want to call it the bad stuff. Just some of the things that other people might point out uh, when playing this game. And some of the stuff I noticed when playing this game. So one of the first things that I noticed, and I will say this, I didn't play the whole game. I'm about halfway through the game, roughly. Um, but in that first half of the game, one thing that I did notice is that every level that you play is very similar to the last. Um, I mean, really, every level is a combination of uh, water and then like a land area and then a land area with some trees. Um, and it's really the rehashing of that same format throughout every level. And it kind of reminds me of really the first Super Mario game in a sense that the very first time you play Super Mario and beat it, the difficulty stays the same. And then as you beat Mario, if you played it long enough to beat it multiple times, the difficulty gets greater and greater every time you beat the game. I get a very similar feeling here playing this game because every level looks so similar that the only thing that changes is the difficulty of the levels, the way that the enemies are spaced out amongst one another, um, you know, the the rate at which an enemy dies from your fire, you know, stuff like that. So it kind of kind of made me think about the first time be playing and beating Super Mario and making it to the the next the next game. Um, so that's the first thing. That's the first thing that people are going to notice and probably point out at uh, Skyforce. Um, now the second thing is the sound, you know, the music in the game. Now, there's nothing wrong with the music in the game. It's just that every level has the same sounding music. It's the same riff or the same drum beat. It, it's, it's pretty much just a rehashing of, of the same song. And I guess I kind of understood why they did that. Because the levels are so similar that, I mean, you're not moving to a, like a more exciting level. You know, you're playing a level, you're reaching it to a boss, and then you're beating the boss, and you're going on, hopefully, to the next level. Um, yeah, so the music's very, very similar. So, that, that, you know, those are the only two big things that I can point out with this game, is all the levels are very similar, and all the music is very similar. Now, with that aside, you know, I love the gameplay on this game. I think that... Uh, the grinding, the level grinding is because that's what you're doing when you're playing these levels. You're grinding. You're grinding. You're trying to earn those stars to go into the hangar to buy your power ups. Um, which is also why I think this game is very RPG like. It has a very strong RPG element in that regard. And that's what makes this game so addicting for me. Um, I've been playing this game for the last four days, every day when I get off of work. And I even have my PS4 on standby mode that way i can bring my vita to work and play skyforce while i'm at work if i have nothing to do um you know hopefully anybody in my life that uh knows i'm supposed to be working didn't hear that but yeah when i'm not busy i'm playing skyforce on my vita so the rpg elements to this game make it very addicting for me you know i want to there's different things you can level up in this game you can level up your your main cannon uh your shield your health um your missiles you know, pretty much all the staples of a good shoot 'em up. You know, all those things, you don't just get the power ups in the level. You have to earn that stuff. You have to earn that stuff 
by doing your levels, by grinding and doing the levels over and over and over again and earning stars, which is what you get when you kill an enemy. And you earn your stars and you, you earn enough stars to go into the hangar and start leveling up your ship. You know, the first thing that I tried to do was I tried to get the two side cannons for both my wings. You know, that way I have three project projectiles uh, shooting out at the enemy instead of just one. So that was the first thing that I tried to level up. And that's kind of what got me hooked. Because once I started leveling up those cannons, I wanted to level up my main cannon. I wanted to level up my health. And this game also kind of gets you hooked because you have objectives for each level. One of the objectives might be go through the whole level with avoiding all fire. You know, you don't want to get hit once. You know, another objective might be... Um, you know, go through the level and destroy all enemies. Uh, it, it could be you make it through the level and destroy 70% of the enemies. Um, this game also has these people that kind of sit on the land. And what you have to do is you have to kind of hover your spacecraft over top of these people and you rescue them. And I've seen this before in other shooters, but, um, you know, it kind of adds a, an interesting twist to the game. Um, I don't know what you get by rescuing the people, but I just know they need to be rescued. Um, and that's one of the objectives. Um, now, of, of all these, you usually have four objectives per level. And depending upon the level, you might only have to, you know, meet two of those objectives. Maybe you need to meet three. But once you meet those two or those three, um, you do move on to the next level. You know, whatever that le the previous level requires you to do. Um, the cool thing about this game is that when you die, you know, you, you die, but you keep all the stars, at least from what I've noticed. Um, you, I guess you get to keep most of the stars that you've accumulated, you know, that currency through the level when you die. Um, so when you die, you know, it's not game over. Um, you're just going back to the home screen where you can pick your levels or go to the hangar. And you still got all your stars and you can still level up. And that's pretty cool because most of the time I played the levels, you know, I wasn't trying to make it to the next level. I was just trying to level grind so I could earn those stars to level or to power my ship up. Um, so that's pretty cool if I accidentally get hit by too much fire and I die. Um, and, you know, I don't lose everything. I don't lose all the stuff that I've been leveling up for all this time. You know, the game just auto saves and I go to the home screen and I level up again. And that's great. And in that regard, it kind of makes it kind of similar to some of those real addictive uh, cell phone games that I don't play. Um, but anyway, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, some people might think that that's not challenging enough. And, you know, sometimes I don't need things to be challenging enough. Sometimes I just want to get home after a hard day's work and just sit in front of the TV and mash buttons and not think. I just want to stare at the screen and hit buttons and, like, you know, wash the day away, you know, so to speak. Um, so, you know, you got very similar levels, you got very similar music, you have very addictive gameplay, um, and it's part shooter, part RPG. I mean, what else could you want? Those are my two favorite genres. So what do you guys think? What's your take on this game? Is it an RPG shooter? Is it a shooter with RPG elements? I mean, really, you're going to have to play the game before you decide. Um, really, I recommend this game. I mean, if you can find it for between $20 and $40, I, I really feel like it's a solid purchase. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share my videos. Like I said, it really helps this channel grow. I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and peace out.